Hello everyone, my name is Chumatin Botin and this is my final project for Harvard Extension School CSE, CSCIE 185 Big Data Analysis and my topic is Oracle Big Data Set, Big Data 2 Set and uh, we focus on Oracle NoSQL Database. So the agenda for today is a brief introduction to Oracle NoSQL Database. I'll be doing installation of NoSQL database of Oracle and um, an example of Oracle, an example and a further reading to um, if you want to dive deep into it. As part of um, Oracle NoSQL database, is you'll be able to integrate Oracle um, database if you already have Oracle database running in your enterprise, and also be able to integrate Hapto into it. And um, it's mostly um, Used as a backend, um, as a backend um, database, and you since you could integrate Oracle the database, and another as good aspect of it is since Hadoop um, FD, F, FDFS is mainly for batch processing, Oracle NoSQL database is mainly for um, real time um, data processing. So you could have both um, Oracle NoSQL database and uh, HDFS in your system. And use Oracle NoSQL database for real-time processing, and um, HDFS as uh, a batch processing. Oracle NoSQL database is able you, have, you will be able to scale it and add more nodes to it, improve on the productivity and and reliability and consistency also. So as the picture in, in this screen shows, you are able to scale that add more nodes to it, which um, uh, add more nodes to the shell in the class uh, in the cluster, which increases write put throughput, and also it also increases um, system availability. So um, we'll go ahead with the installation. Before we start with the with the installation of Oracle NoSQL database, um, I assume you already have um, Java JDK either version six or seven installed, and also. We already have Oracle Database LG um, 11G R, um, R1 or R2 installed in your system and for this demonstration I'll be using Oracle Database LG 11G um, R2 it's already installed in my system so I assume you already have it and also before um, I go ahead I also assume that you already have um, Eclipse ID in, um, in your system and you are familiar with um, Eclipse, and this is not um, a tutorial to learn either three, um, either Eclipse or how to install Oracle database and also how to install um, Java JDK. So, as you already have all these three in your system, and you'll go ahead and start installing. Okay, um, to go ahead and install Oracle NoSQL database, I would open my virtual machine which I'm running and um, as you can see I um, when you go to Oracle um, www.oracle.com and you click on the download page and you click on the database this uh, section will open and we would scroll down and you see NoSQL database click on it and it will open in, um, the page for to download the Oracle NoSQL database. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll, there are two types of Oracle NoSQL database, the, com the community, community edition and the um, enterprise edition. Use any, any of both, but for this um, purpose of this tutorial, we'll be using um, the enterprise edition, although the committed edition works fine. So we'll accept and we will, since we are using uh, install it on a Linux box, we will download the tar dot, um, the tar file, and when um, it will open for you to sign uh, sign on before you will download it. So I would sign in, and voila, it will. Pop up. I already have it installed, so I would just I would install it again. I wouldn't download. I, I, I wouldn't download it again, and I would. Um, so I'll just cancel it and 
cancel it and um, close the window all right so I'll sh um, to show you the file that I already have downloaded I um, and you see that it's the KVE kv-ee.2.0.tat.gz um, so um, to un to install it I will just type in gun gun zip um, kv.ee-2.0.39 oh sorry it's in the download folder so download KV point E E point and um it it um it um it on tar it's so uh to untire it I would go I'll go tar xvf downloads kv dash ee dash two point zero point three nine point tar and voila we've we've installed um We've installed Oracle NoSQL base in our system, and to so we um, this is the program that will be illust using um, Oracle NoSQL database to illustrate um, the connection, and I imported the um, I imported the cook load cookbook data um, from the um, examples uh, folder and the stand of tables and uh, I put all these three by I copied them these jar classes which the uh, Java files will need or else it um, you see some red um, you see error in it so I copied these um, these information um, these jar files and these jar files will be found um, are found in the directory a the um KV home which is um which is these and um in KV home you see the lib directory and you could um download all I download all um I import it all so that if there's anything left I I wouldn't have to go back and download it again. So um as you can see the cookbook it takes these um these commands um, it takes these um, as an as an argument in what's compiling as we will see in, in the PowerPoint and the store name host name and pop uh, put at the put um, you remember when we started um, KV light those are the information that came up so this those those are the information that we would have to put in as um, when you want to run it so that it will it will connect with um, KV KV light and give us our output and um, that's basically it and these are the information that will be added to the um, that will be processed and it will be added to from the user info um, which will generate it and it will populate the information and it will populate the information uh, for us and the key is user so if there's um so if there's any um existing data in the no sql dot that it will delete it and it will input a new um data um to be used so um this is the user info which we would use to um that we would use to um that will iterate and generate our keys and also our information for us so when we go to um 
once we are done checking the um okay um let me if you run this it will it wouldn't give you an error it wouldn't give you an error to just give you a usage because these information the instance name the host name and the port name bot number and a total number of records to create they are they are external argument that has to be inputted in the command line so when give with giving us no error shows that everything is all right and we were able to compile and run it and um if we you see here i gave argument and it didn't run it shows that it wouldn't it needs an external output um as the external argument for it for it to um for it to be um i get these these information are the information that it will need but because it's it needs an external argument it wouldn't it didn't um, take it and that's how i've made it so we'll go to our, our powerpoint slide and i'll show you um now um we have to compile it and we compile and these are the commands that will compile it and once we compile it then we'll run it with our kv client and before we compile it kv kv light should be running up and running and it, once it's up and running we'll be able to compile and run it with our um argument okay nice so once we are done with the oracle uh, data um with the java we will concentrate on the oracle and we'll create this we'll generate these commands and this will create a username using a new user and create a directory to the um, nosql stream and also an external directory and this will create a table and the table we would this is the external table that will be able to that would um, input our information in it the con the config file is the configuration file which has all the information that we will need to um to connect with the database and an output of when we run it with our um oracle uh, home um when we run with the data uh, java con uh, database connector we'll get its output and this is the output of our config file that um output for this config file so once we run it we will have this output as a this as our output and the reason why we are having this is because i inputted the variables which give us an output stream um debug they are debugging to see how things are going and the username is the user is the username that we created here is this is this username and the password i i changed it because i you did it when i did it my system i use a different username and password so the table the table here the table we have our our table name which is final and also our user which is um which is the csc 185 the rest the rest is um is a config um you don't you don't have to unless you want to change something so when we run it this is the output and when we run this command to generate the output this is the information that we'll have so it shows um once when you check this um sql it should give you a similar thing like this which uh, shows you that it, there has been a connection between the no secure database and oracle database thank you very much and have a great day